you surely remember phrases and clauses. Today we'll learn a little bit more about different types of clauses. So let us revise what a clause is. We have learned that a clause is a group of words that acts as a part of speech. That is, it acts as a noun or an adjective or an adverb and conveys some sense. It may or may not stand alone to form a complete sentence or to convey a complete thought. It always has a subject and a verb. Now let us look at this sentence. Mary's sister has blue eyes. In this sentence, blue is an adjective because it is describing the noun eyes. We can also write this sentence as Mary's sister has eyes which are blue. In this case, which are blue is a group of words which has a subject which and a verb are. So this group of words is a clause now this clause does not make complete sense on its own. If I say which are blue, it does not make complete sense. It needs the main clause, Mary's sister has eyes, to complete its sense. So this clause is a dependent clause. And this clause is acting as an adjective because this part is describing the eyes just like the adjective blue. So this clause is known as an adjective clause because this is doing the work of an adjective. So an adjective clause is a dependent clause that modifies a noun or a pronoun just like an adjective. An adjective clause can be introduced by a relative pronoun like that, who, whom, whose, which or by a relative adverb where and when. Now relative adverbs are actually relative pronouns which act as adverbs when they are joining two clauses or two sentences. Where tells us about the place and when tells us about the time, at which place and at which time. Adjective clauses are also called relative clauses. Let us look at a few examples. The person who has broken the vase has to own up. Now this part, who has broken the vase, is describing the noun person so it is acting like an adjective so this part who has broken the vase is a dependent clause and an adjective clause here people whose houses have thatched roofs have to be careful during the monsoon now in this sentence whose houses have thatched roofs is a group of words it is describing the noun people, so it is acting like an adjective. So this is an adjective clause. Now if you notice, people have to be careful during the monsoon. It's making complete sense and is the main clause. Whereas whose houses have thatched roofs is the adjective clause. It is a dependent clause. And it depends on the main clause to complete its sense. This is the book that John gifted me on my birthday. So the book is being described by the clause that John gifted me on my birthday. We can also say this is the book which John gifted me on my birthday. 
so which john gifted me on my birthday is also describing the noun book so both these clauses that john gifted me on my birthday or which john gifted me on my birthday are describing the noun book and so they are adjective clauses can you identify the adjective clause in the following sentence the ship that caused the oil spill belonged to a big corporation let us first identify the main clause here so the ship belonged to a big corporation is making complete sense and can stand alone as a sentence so this is the main clause that caused the oil spill is the dependent clause which is starting with the relative pronoun that this clause is describing the noun ship so that caused the oil spill is the dependent adjective clause in this sentence winter is the time when we go for a picnic now when we go for a picnic is a dependent clause it is starting with the relative adverb when and it is describing the noun time so when we go for a picnic is an adjective clause this is the school where i have studied since nursery this is the same as saying this is the school where i have studied since nursery now here this is the same as saying this is the school in which i have studied since nursery now we have removed in which and replaced it with a relative adverb of place where so this is the school where i have studied since nursery and where i have studied since nursery is describing the noun school so this part where i have studied since nursery is a dependent adjective clause the girl who was injured is in the hospital now who was injured is describing the girl it is starting with the relative pronoun who so who was injured is the adjective clause here now sometimes we may write the sentences in this way on the day i pass my examination i will get a reward what i am trying to say is on the day that i pass my examination i will get a reward we have omitted that in the first sentence so this is not wrong in this case that i pass my examination is understood not expressed so that i pass my examination is actually the clause but because we have not written it in the first sentence i pass my examination is the adjective clause in this sentence just because you don't see that don't get confused sometimes we can omit the that and write the sentence now that you have learnt adjective clauses in detail let us do this exercise replace the adjective phrase with an adjective clause in the following sentence the boy sitting in the corner is my brother now you have already learnt about phrases that they are a group of words which does not have a subject doing a verb so let us first identify the phrase in this sentence the boy sitting in the corner is my brother this part sitting in the corner is describing the boy so this is a phrase it is doing the work of an adjective now what we have to do is replace this phrase with a clause so how will we write it instead of writing the boy sitting in the corner is my brother we will write the boy who is sitting in the corner is my brother 
So we have replaced sitting in the corner with who is sitting in the corner in which the subject who is doing the verb is sitting. So this becomes an adjective clause. So what have we learnt today? We have learnt about adjective clauses in detail and we have learnt that adjective clauses are dependent clauses. They contain a subject and a verb because every clause has to contain a subject and a verb. They function as an adjective in the sentence. They work just like an adjective. They describe the noun or a pronoun in the sentence. Adjective clauses are usually introduced by relative pronouns like that, who, whom, whose, which or by relative adverbs of place like where and time like when. So you need to practice adjective clauses in detail and I'm sure that in no time you will master them. We will soon learn about the other clauses. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.